back. No player in NBA history has ever won the MVP award while being undrafted. At least until today. My goal is to go into a random draft class, find somebody that was undrafted, and turn them into the GOAT et ethically without changing this overalls and stuff. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Before I was making videos for y'all, I was in school and I just remember being stressed out about managing my money and making sure I had everything that I needed. When you're buying clothes, kicks, or school supplies, it's important to educate yourself on how you're spending your money. That's why I teamed up with Invesco QQQ to tell y'all about their new game, how not to suck at money. The game is designed to help educate students on how to be more confident with spending your money. The game contains five different money secrets that you can learn by just playing the game and interacting with the elements. One of the secrets you'll find in the game is spending money with intention. You ever think to yourself, where did all my money go? With the daily coffee runs, the ride sharing, the eating out, those things can build up and become overwhelming. These simple small purchases start to add up and they make a big impact on your wallet. The game also teaches you helpful tips like how to set goals on how to spend your money. It's important to sit down and set short and long term financial goals. When you have a goal to aim for, you can adjust your spending habits to get to that goal. If you're a student or student athlete and you're looking for ways to effectively spend your back to school money, check out Invesco QQQ's How Not to Suck at Money. The link will be in the description. I think this is a good way to, to start it. Um, four game series in which they won. Luka Doncic's team won the championship. He averaged 51, 10, and 5 in that four game series. And in the regular season, you want to guess what he averaged? 40 for the year. Almost. <laughs> hey, that man is crazy. All right. So. None of this matters until we get to the NBA draft. I would argue going to the draft don't even matter. We're not even going to the draft. Basically, we got to go strictly into free agency, find somebody that is a rookie that also didn't get drafted. All right, so this is where they're going to start catfishing me because this guy's 18 years old, 71 overall, but I'm guaranteeing he was a second round pick. You know what I'm saying? So I need to find somebody that say he wasn't even drafted. There's the first undrafted guy, Colin Person. Let's see what Colin Person is up to. And do we think we could turn him into a goalie? He is a small forward, 6'8 out of Minnesota. Can't really shoot slash score, which is basically the big part of this video. I need somebody that can go in and, and score the ball. So he's not really an option. But a 70 overall is pretty half of somebody that's going to go undrafted. Because this is like the normal undrafted player, in my opinion. He's 67 overall. And... He don't really do nothing. I mean, this guy got drafted second round, first pick. He was just the 31st overall pick. And whoever had this pick was like, nah, we don't want to even give him a chance. I mean, that's practically a first round. You know what I'm saying? It's right outside of that. We're starting to get in real guy territory, which is not good. I won't use Kenny Lofton Jr. We're doing somebody that is uh, not real. Power forward, that's a good standing dunk guy. Can you rebound? No, subpar rebounder. Yikes. JT Thor's here. All right, I'm going to have to look through all of these and come up with, my, like, my top three candidates. So far, that 70 overall dude might be the guy. All right, so I looked through all the way down to, like, 22 years old. Ain't nobody here. So I'm going to go one more year in the future and see if next year has somebody. And that's that's the furthest it's going. If I can't find nobody next year, we're just going to have to settle for a 65 or whatever. But this class, 71 was the highest. But, bro, he, he was he was about below average at literally everything. He had nothing he can hang his hat on. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to be a 70 overall, maybe pr have a perimeter defense at least average. Rebound at least average. Nothing. So I'm going to simulate this season. Um, and hopefully next year's class got somebody better. So this class didn't have somebody that was undrafted that was good. But they did have a generational center. This guy's a 85 overall rookie. And uh, there is no holes in this game. No holes in this game. Oh, he's a below average with the ball when it comes to speed. Ah, couldn't have drafted him. This guy is, is ridiculous. We're going to see a lot of him in this video, I feel like. Dan Reed for the, the Cavaliers. Uh, so, okay. Now we just simulate and get back to the draft this time and hope that there is somebody in that free agency pool that will be, at least, again, I don't care about the overall of you. I just need you to have a skill that I think I can capitalize on in order for you to be an NBA MVP. Chris Paul, stop playing. For you to be an NBA MVP. And right now, we ain't found nobody like that just yet. All right, so let's see what's going on. This guy drafted... Oh, man. Okay, first of the draft, the guy. He's 18, y'all. You know, give him a few years. Look at this man. Perimeter defense, small four. F. F. B-ball. Oh, my God. His his ball IQ is disgusting. So, yeah, this is the type of play. I mean, we're going to have to settle for somebody like this, it seems like, bro. We're going to have to settle for somebody like this. Undrafted, 64. Don't do nothing well. Jalen Duran is just sitting in free agency, I guess. 
it's because you want $27 million. This is not, it's not who you is right now. This is the guy from last season. He is still obviously undrafted. He has not got better. He's only 20 years old, though. We might have to pick him because nobody else here even makes sense, bro. This is not very good. This guy was also here last year. This is not very good. Clay Meyer, six foot guard out of Temple. He's 21 years old, so that's a little scary because he might not hit his peak, but he's not a young player that we like give him three years. I don't know if that's the case for him. Athleticism is out of this world. He's a point guard with bad b-ball IQ, but he's a 71 and he can shoot. League at a position average three point shooter, great mid range shooter. That's like the best we're going to get, ain't it? He's got zero offers. I'm going to keep going, but I think that might be our... Yeah, no, actually, I know for sure none of these got... Undrafted, mid-range killer. That ain't better than what we just saw. I think we got to go with... What was his name? Myers. Okay. Next thing I got to do is put him on a team. What was the worst team in basketball last season? The Denver Nuggets? Who's your point guard? Trey Young? Can't do that. Boston Celtics? I don't want to put you on Boston. Uh, the Pelicans, oh yeah, the Pelicans are the team. The Pelicans are the team. We putting them on the Pelicans. And we're about to get the most team-friendly deal of all time. We're giving them a four-year deal. You're going to win an MVP award on this contract, and your, your management and your agent going to be so mad, so mad that they allowed you to sign that. Right now, our team has nothing. It has nothing. Who is, like, in our free agency pool? Oh, Devin Vassell, Tobias Harris. Eh. Hey, this wasn't me. I, w I was just trying to get him to retain Devin Vassell and Isaiah Stewart and stuff. They like, nah, we'd rather spend that money to get Jeremy Grant and Anthony Davis on the team. Anthony Davis coming back. I would rather keep Devin Vassell at 23 than go get Jeremy Grant at 30. So I'm going to do like that. Uh, can I keep iHeart? Can I keep Stu? No. Okay, so I'm going to keep the ID. Oh, we, had we traded away Dame? Yeah, they traded away Dame early this season. Wow, they did some craziness. All right, so I'm going to bring Anthony Davis and Clay Myers. That is the best pick and roll duo in basketball. And then now we're going to get Devin Vassell to come back on a deal. Great. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, now the rest is building out the roster. Uh, this guy was 14th overall pick. He's a good point guard. Four oh, we used a fourth overall pick on the point guard too. Nate Chad from Illinois. Yeah, we got to trade you, my boy. I'm sorry. There's only supposed to be one point guard on this roster. His name is uh, Clay Myers. We even got Tata Washington, who we got to get rid of. So, you know, going to be kind of rough. I might trade Chris Middleton with um, the, the rookie point guard. Boom. Fourth overall pick. Got to go. I'm going to go out and get Tyrese Halliburton. And the reason I'm doing that is because Sim Tyrese Halliburton, don't be putting up no crazy numbers until he's like close to 30. And he's a he's a good Sim player in the sense that he um, helps win games, even if his stats aren't crazy. So, yeah, that's that's the trade we're going to do. Um, and now he's got to fill the roster. Oh, Tobias Harris is still out there. We might just bring Toby back if we can. And then we'll just flip him later on down in the video. Cool. All right. So, now let's just fill out the roster with a new center power forward and yada, yada, yada. First thing on my agenda is to get my boy in that rotation. Hey, this Paul Townsend dude looks like a stud, but we can't have that. Tata -ta Washington, you might be really good, but we can't have that. No minutes for you. We give him straight to Clay. But I also don't want to get Clay all the minutes just yet. I want all the minutes to happen once we think he's good enough to win an MVP award. I did not check to see what his shot tendency was, and I'm low key afraid to even look, so I will not. I'm just going to simulate the first game of his NBA career. Okay, it's a win. And it, he scored 22 and had second, the second most shot attempts on the team. That is great. Now, I, don't, I didn't even look to see what his, like, playmaking stats were and stuff. So, oh, this game, not as good. But six assists, three steals is pretty good. I didn't look to see what his playmaking stats were. Because in order to win MVP, you obviously have to playmake. You got to hit shots. You got to do a little bit of everything. And actually, let's just take a full deep dive into, into my guy Clay Myers right now. First of all, starting off his NBA career as an undrafted player, averaging 14 through two games. Pretty good. So, good shooter slash score. Cannot hit his free throws. But he can score from close, he can score from mid, and he also hit his three-point shot a little bit less than average on that one. We'll take that. IQ's not the greatest when it comes to taking shots. His passing is below average for a guard. His ball handling is below average for a guard, and he's slower than the average point guard. Sheesh. Bad hands, bad passing IQ, bad vision, bad consistency. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, this is a long project, man. He, oh, my God, he's the worst consistency I've ever seen in a player. 39 is crazy bad. His vertical is he... So how is your vertical at 98, but you can't dunk as a six, six foot guy? And the potential is just to see. All right. So the next thing I could do to kind of help this little moment here is to go to player mentorship and get it so that he is being mentored by... Oof, give me somebody. Oh, Anthony Davis. What does Anthony Davis have that we want? 
pretty, pretty much nothing. Oh, he could get like value shooter. So he could take a lot of shots, but that's pretty much it. Actually, we'll take, we'll stay away from that. Catch and shoot blinders and Claymore. No, no, not Claymore. We're gonna go Midi Magician because his mid-range shot is the best thing about him. So we're gonna give him Midi Magician. Uh, we also gonna give him Catch and Shoot and Blinders. I think those are three pretty good bads as for our guy. Uh, he already got one. Let's see what Clay's got before we even get to simulating the rest of this season. Oh, it must be a personality badge. Okay, it's some personality badges, so he ain't really got nothing. All right, we go sim and let our guy do his do his magic. Will he get rookie of the year? He does. Okay, so that's a good thing. I wish it, it counted towards his progression, but it doesn't. This this doesn't literally mean anything. But we can see his stats: 14, 4, and about three. That's pretty good. Uh, want the assist numbers to go up as my starting point guard, but you saw his playmaking ability. Oh, we have the defensive player of the year and the rookie of the year. That's dope. You saw his playmaking ability wasn't very great. So I don't know if we'll ever get to the point where he's averaging a bunch of assists. The team did not make the playoffs, which is fine. This is not about team success in this moment. Eventually, oh, we made the play in and we lost him. Eventually, it will be about team success because you need to be on a good team to win a championship or to win an MVP. Um, but as of right now, as we're trying to figure out who he is as, is as a player, it doesn't matter too much. I don't even know if I'm married to the guy. As in like, do I, do I want to keep him around, you know? Like, what if there's somebody in this draft class that's better as an undrafted player? I, I don't I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to... Well, I guess we'll see. I guess I'll look I'll look into free agency again to see if there's anybody I'd rather have. Why am I wasting my time? Every, sing, every single one of these people was, were drafted. And I got, the, I got the guy that he won rookie of the year. What am I going to give up on him for? So this is what the team looks like. I think I'm going to trade Toe because he's 33 years old. We did have a first round pick that we used to draft. An, an, oh, we had two first round picks. One of them to draft a point guard and one of them to draft a power forward. I'm trading Tobias Harris just because. Just matter of fact, let's just try to get the teams at least slightly better right now. Um, and then we'll figure out the rest. We'll see what type of progression we get. Oh, man. All right. Uh, no problems. Okay. He jumped up too. But he gained six badges, though. He gained six badges. He had zero, right? So he's got Acrobat, Fast, Twitch, Blinders, Catch and Shoot, Midi Magician. Hey, we this was from Tobias? I don't remember who it was from, but thank you, whoever we sent them to Potential Can't Win. Quick first step is pretty cool. He got better at playmaking, which is a dub, and he's got a better three-point shot. So we made a few trades to bring in a guy named Jaron Jackson Jr., and then we also brought in Johnny Davis for whatever reason. I, he was just a part of that trade. All right. So, numbers should look better. He's got more weapons around him. So, maybe the assist numbers finally go up to, like, let's say six per game instead of four and a half. This is slow grind, man. All I hope is that his peak age ain't like now. Because that definitely happens in this game. Where he's going to be going to go into this season and, bro, it's not going to get no better. Uh, and that, that, would be our, that would be our worst case scenario in a video like this. But it might happen. When I was thinking about doing this video, I kind of forgot that Luka Doncic exists. And that taking the award from him is going to be near impossible. Either way, I was hoping to get most improved, I'm be honest with you. This guy went from 9 to 18 points, so he doubled his points per game. He also doubled his minutes per game, so it's not like he got that much better. Right? He just got more opportunity. What's your per 36 say? The per 36 say you the same player, bro. You don't deserve that award. Give it to somebody that deserve it. Um, I'm assuming that we don't have anybody. This guy right here, I told y'all he's going to be nice. Yeah, his numbers are really good. Don't get me. Oh, no. oh he's a center that shot 42% from three. Yeah, he's really nice. Um, okay. Let's see how the things went. We were the three seed. I'm sorry, the five seed. I don't know where I saw three from. We are the five seed, which is good. I mean, we put together a really solid roster, if you ask me. At the point guard position. Oh, this Kennedy Chandler's upset because he's getting no PT. Because Clay Myers went out and averaged 20 points per game. About five and a half assists, which is pretty good for him. And then efficiency number-wise, he did. He shot really well from the field and stuff. So I'm happy with these type of numbers. We just need more, more. That's it. That's the end of the statement. We just need more. We're not winning the championship. That's fine. At least I don't think so. We just swept two rounds, and uh, we're in the finals. All right. So maybe adding the MVP or championship to his resume will give him a little bit more respect. You know? Um, they got somebody else named Red on the Milwaukee Bucks. Shout out to Michael. This guy's Dwayne. They got Jokic, Benedict Matherin. Did 2K drop a roster update? Okay, we might win the championship as the five seed. Hold on, wait. Let's start talking about that in a second. Oh, never mind. Okay, cool. We lost. I think they might have dropped the roster update because I'm looking at some people. Even I know we're in the future and everything, but I'm looking at some people overall. Matter of fact, let me hit save. I'm just curious right now. I'm recording this on a Friday, so y'all might already know all the upgrades. I don't. They did. Benedict Mathurin was a 74 overall yesterday. He's an 80. Oh, snap. I got to start looking at more overalls. Look at that. Oh, man. 
Oh, snap. Okay. All right. I'm just excited at basically people being better now that the season has started. Shea is almost 90 overall club. Give him more badges, please. 14 badges. Come on, man. All right. So he's almost an 80 overall. I think it's time we'll reduce his numbers and everything. Um, I traded Anthony Davis because he was on the last year of his deal and he was older. So we got in DeAndre Aiden. I got either to help us win, but also only averaged 15 points per game last season. So I'm trying to get that all of the shots, the majority of the shots go through our guy Clay. Um, he's getting better. He's got 16 badges now. You know, this is pretty good, but to win MVP, you got to do a lot more than that. Um, <laughs> got to do a lot more than that, uh, but he's he's on his way. There we go. Leading the team and scoring right there. Efficiency is going to take a dump a little bit um, now that we've given him all the minutes, and we might not win as many games because we traded away Anthony Davis. But as long as we're a high-tier playoff team, potentially, he's putting up good numbers. I think there's a possibility possibility of something has not even made an all-star game with that last year i just got to give it time bro i think i got to get it time i might be a little bit premature on my juicing of his uh minutes but whatever we gonna simp someone else won mvp so that is a really really good thing we didn't even get most improved player even though we gave him all the minutes okay all right um i'm trying to think about other stuff that i could do to kind of help we're the two seat though so we were better this season oh you're wondering about his own numbers i don't even know what they were let me check i mean average 24 and 7 was he a play? I'm um, an all-star because we were a playoff team. Nope, nope. That's fine. Was Tyrese an all-star? He was. Uh, did we have to trade Tyrese? What did you average, Reese? Did you take away from my boy? He averaged 16 and 11. See, I'm telling you, bro. You knew you need those um, those outside numbers to go up. I mean, he averaged nine or uh, seven assists. That's that's pretty good for him. I actually, I'll take a seven. He's he'll never be a, a plus rebound. He's six feet tall. With his actual rebound and stats being 50, yeah. So he'll never get rebounds. But Tyrese might be passing too good. We might have to get Tyrese out of here and go get somebody else. Because Tyrese is tech. And this is the point in time where I was telling you that, like, Tyrese is going to start to be really good. This is the time. He's got he's got to go. The, the game was freezing on me. He's got to get out of here because he's too good. Uh, we lose in the second round. That's fine. That, I don't care if we ever win a championship. It's not what this is about. <laughs> not a normal video, man. Championship is not high on my priority list. Make the playoffs be a high seed, but championship is not on my priority list. So we traded for Scotty Barnes. I decided to go just like good defense. We got Trey Murphy off the bench. Bo Bowl is an 81 overall. I decided to go strictly good defense and let my guy Clay do everything else. He's, he is an 80, and I think he was an 80 going into last season or close to it. So I, hey, how old are you now? 24? Hey, this is him. Please do something great. Okay, he fouled out. But, but ooh, no, no, I know this is just a hot streak. This is just a hot streak. It's just a hot streak. This is not who he is. The double digit assist is very, very promising, bro. It's, oh my God, it is, hey, hey, if it happened, it ha he just put up 38 shots in that game. 26 in this one. Bro, it could happen. And we ain't lost yet, by the way. We ain't, we ain't lost yet. The boys are, okay, as soon as I start talking. But, hey, that's still a really good performance. Hey, keep keep winning, bro. Keep winning games. And he got a chance, bro. He has a chance. Let's see. Come on. A couple more weeks into it. Oh, that's not a good game. Oh, yeah, 15 assists. That's good for averages. 28 and 9 is pretty good. I don't know if it's going to be good enough. The fact that bro was still only shooting 50% from the free throw line is blowing my mind. Dang, that, is that going to be the reason why he don't win? He can't hit a... Shaq won an MVP. But Shaq also was, you know, as dominant as anybody ever in the history of basketball. So, you know, I think there is a chance. I don't like when I see stuff like this. This sub-100 game. He still had a double-double, so I can't even be mad. But, like, the sub-100 games are not great. And we've got a few of those coming up. But, hey, 163, he had a 50-piece. There's no way they put up that many points without him having 50. Okay. DeAndre Aiden is actually really nice. What do you have? Only 12? Bobo's averaging 11. Okay. It really is his show, bro. Everybody's averaging like 10 to 15 points and everything else just falls into place. Do we have a... Oh, how far do we have to be into the season to see like the hierarchy? You know what I'm saying? They say like top five in rookie of the year and all that. We need to see what that is. It's, it's, it's impossible to beat this man in an MVP off. It's impossible. Oh, didn't... Were you on our team? We traded this guy away. As soon as we took over this roster, we traded you away. And you averaged 27 and 5. Shout out to you. Yeah, man. He was all NBA first team. Oh, my God. He was right there, bro. The actual averages were 33 and about 10. That's so great. And we were the three seed. 
That's so great. I just, I gotta give it more time, I think. Uh, we lose in the second round, who cares? Give it, Shaden Sharp wins. Are you gonna win finals MVP? Jared Allen did. Okay, I just need to give it more time. I think that's all it is, ladies. I think that we're here. You know, we just gotta hope for a down year from Luka and everything else is gonna fall into place. All I hope for is that this season goes the same as last, but Luka's not as good. Part of me wants to go out there and and go trade for Luka. I don't have the pieces to do that, but I feel like if I eliminate the competition and throw him to the end of the... We have better numbers than Luka right now. I know it's three weeks into the season, four weeks into the season. We have better numbers than Luka right now. You know? I think that the big saving grace of this entire video is continuing to sign older players and sending them to potential camp. Not potential camp, to mentorship camp. To continue his badge development of random badges. Like, that bro has some random, random badges right now. And part of that is because we had him develop them. You know what I'm saying? And as long as we on this pace to make the playoffs and he's putting up the numbers that we just saw, um, then we're in a good spot. We got all the minutes. And we got a, a team around him that don't take shots, basically. Nobody on our team outside of him has a shot tendency over 65. You know? They gonna shoot him if they wide, wide open. But nobody else in this roster is out there bing, bing, binking and making it, you know what I'm saying? Making it happen. If we don't get it done this year, I don't know if we ever will. You know what I'm saying? If we don't get it done this year, I don't know if we ever will, which is sad and scary. But I, I, I don't know. Here we go. End of the season. We're going to lose like 20 games. From undrafted to MVP. Clay Myers averages 35, 12, and 5. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. It's too easy. Luca, where you at? On the All NBA first team. Like, I mean, he averaged some really good numbers too. But boy, we did it. I cannot believe we ended up getting to this spot. Can, can we get a championship on top of it now? I don't know if the team is really built to win a championship. Look at that. I mean, we're in the conference finals. Once you're here, you got a chance. That's what I think. We there. We there. And we're going against Tyrese. Oh my God, this is a perfect way to end this video. We're going against Tyrese Halliburton, who was the running mate of Clay, And you know what? He taught Clay about playmaking. That's why we love Tyrese. He taught Clay how to playmake with the best of them. Look at this shot distribution. It's him than nobody. Taking almost 30 shots a game and the next person only, only is getting 10. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man, he did it. Clay Myers, 38, 12, and 6 in the finals from, from undrafted to MVP and a total of five seasons, man. I should have saw the vision once he came. Look at, look at the increase in assists per game. Look at my boy starting the playmake, man. MVP. That's all I got to say. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like, subscribe. I mean, he only got up to an 85, which is which is pretty good for undrafted. Um, but... I mean, he has some 90s on his roster. He wasn't even the best player on his roster overall, Wes. He was number five. He was the worst starter on the team by overall, but the best starter on the team because he got the trophy and the ring on top of it.